Aloha folks, my name is Kaia Bostra, representing Cutter Chrysler Honolulu, and I'm pleased to represent the most awarded minivan of the year and the very first hybrid minivan ever created. This vehicle was first introduced by Lee Iacocca in 1984 as the very first Chrysler minivan ever to be made, following his predecessors, the Plymouth, the Town & Country, the new 2018 Chrysler Pacifica is redesigned from the ground up. There's a couple things that I would like to point out here. This vehicle comes in a few different trim levels, starting with your very entry level, the L, the LX, the Touring and Touring Plus, Touring L, Touring L Plus, and the Limited. This here is the top tier, the Limited Edition. You got your basic information right here on the Monroney label, also known as the manufacturer suggested retail price. It's going to give you all the features and specs that are on the car, as well as a few additional options that are also included on the vehicle. Unlike the other hybrids out there, including the Toyota Prius, this thing gets an ultimate of 40 electrical charge on a full charge. And with updated or uh, the upgraded charging that's on this vehicle, you actually get two hours to the full charge. On top of that, we also got 32 miles per gallon, plus with the regenerating braking system, you get up to 84 miles to the gallon. On top of that, we've got a few additional things over here as well, five-star crash test safety rating. This five-star crash test safety rating is by the IHS. This will give you the number one choice in knowing that you're gonna be making the right choice for you and your family. On top of that, one thing you'll get with the Chrysler Pacifica Hybrid that you won't get across any of those other minivans out there is that you're going to get electrical plates. So when you're going to Whole Foods or when you're going to the airport, you get free parking. You don't have to go and hunt around at Kalamo, which I'm sure you can agree is quite annoying sometimes. On top of that, you're also going to get 20 inch aluminum rims. You're also going to get Adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring, and rain, shield, or rain sensing windshield wipers. I like to draw your attention right here to the front of the vehicle. You notice this right here, this nice Tiffany's blue? That Tiffany's blue is also located on the front as well. You're going to notice that that gives you a distinguish between all those other hybrids out there that this is the actual, or the, all the other Pacificas out there that this is the hybrid. Now, take a look right here. Just admire this for just a moment. These wraparound LED daytime running lights are gonna let the person in front of you know that you got a Pacifica behind you. You're also gonna notice the iconic Chrysler wings here. These Chrysler wings let you know that you're soaring above all those other cars out there. You're gonna also notice our adaptive cruise control, our true LED running lights as well. The LED lights that are in these vehicles actually shine much brighter than the regular halogen headlights out there. But unlike the Chevy Traverse, you actually, which actually have HID running lights, the LED running lights will give you a much longer lifespan and won't buy a burnout at burning at such a higher voltage. This vehicle also comes with front cross path detection as well as rear cross path detection. So if anyone is running out and you don't see them or if they just come out a little too fast before you can hit those brakes, it'll go ahead and hit those brakes for you preventing you from hitting someone else's pet that's one of your neighbors, or even possibly worse, a child. Now, I'm gonna pop this hood for you here so you can take a look underneath. This is our award-winning, folks, award-winning Pentastar V6 engine. This is our e-hybrid engine as well, with our SI EVT transmission. A few safety features that are on this vehicle as well. You're also gonna notice our um, our breakaway engine mount as well as the um, other objects as well that are labeled nice and easy for you with the yellow letting you know which objects are going to actually need a little bit more attention. Right here this e-hybrid engine gives you an ultimate of 260 horsepower which just like the Nissan Quest out there you can still keep up with that as well getting on the freeway nice and easy as well as getting an extra 61 miles to the gallon. That's something that no other Toyota, uh, Sienna, Honda Odyssey, nor any Nissan Quest can actually keep up with. I'd like to draw your attention over here to the addendum sticker. 
This advantage sticker will give you the manufacturer suggested retail price as well as the environmental care packaging that we place on all of our vehicles. This will protect the exterior of your car from bird droppings, fallout, as well as rust and all the elements out there so that you can get the maximum life out of your vehicle and you can keep hanging on to this vehicle as long as you want with you and your family. Another safety feature I'd like to point out is that we use 14 gauge virgin steel. Virgin steel meaning we don't, we've never used this steel before. So it's the strongest steel out there as well as golden plated connectors in all of our airbags. The reason why we use gold instead of the regular metals out there is gold never deteriorates. So 10 years down the road, you can still feel confident that your vehicle is uh, protecting you and your family. Now, you're also gonna get 360 degree viewing on this vehicle when you put on your backup camera. You have a one little camera that's actually located right up here in the front, two that are on the mirrors, and one on the rear that actually comes on all of the cylinders as well. Now, unlike the Chevy Traverse out there, with just the simple kick of a foot, you can go ahead and pop that door open. That's something that most of the minivans can't do out there. Now, picture that you have all your kids' soccer gear and you're trying to run into the car. Boom, throw it in nice and easy. And another thing that I mentioned that we have captain's chairs in these, no bench seats over here. Each child gets their very own individual seat, so you don't have to worry about them conflicting with one another. And unlike the Honda Odyssey, they don't have to share one, touch, one screen to watch their so you don't have to hear them bickering about this video stinks or I want to watch this or I want to watch that. Instead, they have their own individual 10-inch screen in there. And that screen doesn't just play movies, folks. This actually plays games. You can play checkers, chess, all and many more. So you can keep them entertained and give you a nice, quiet, and peaceful ride. You're also going to notice we actually have a wall plug charger. So if any of your electronics need any charging, you have that as well. And unlike the Honda Odyssey, where you have to really pull this seat apart and lift that heavy piece out of there to let someone into the rear, with a simple flip, this pops right back for you. All you gotta do is lower this right here, pull this down, nice and easy access right in the rear for them. Now you can pick or pack all your friends or kids' friends in there, giving a lot of space nice and comfortably. Now, I'd like to draw your attention to the rear here. This as well also has the foot access where you can just put your foot underneath, pull it up for you. So if you're in the rain, a bunch of groceries, you can go ahead and run underneath nice and easy for you without having to shuffle around looking for your keys. On top of that, unlike many of those other Pacific or other Honda Odysseys out there that have a really heavy, heavy seat, I'm not sure if you folks have ever tried it, but they are extremely heavy to use these stone goes. Since Chrysler is the first to go ahead and make these stone go seats, the simple fold, these fold right back into place and do all the work for you. So you don't have to struggle with doing that. Now back here, you're also gonna notice that we have our stow and vac. The stow and vac allows you to wipe or to vacuum up all those Cheerios or whatever sort of mess that your children have made back there, making it nice and easy to keep your car clean and you don't have to drive all the way down to the gas station to go back in your car. When you're ready to put these stow and go seats right back up, super easy, they pop right back into place for you. And for those of you that are a little bit height challenged out there, instead of having to tippy toe up to reach to push that button, ours is located nice and easy for us right here. Now folks, why don't you please take a seat over here. Here's one thing that you won't get on the Toyota Sienna, a quiet start. Did you even hear that turn on? I didn't. Other than the beeping that's inside here, you got your blind spot monitoring, as well as the blinkers that are on the side, letting everyone around you still be able to see you. You got your 8.4 Uconnect system in here, compatible with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, that you don't have to pay an extra fee for like BMW does. Your navigation actually shows the water moving. And you got the Harman Kardon sound system that's also in here as well. 
with the Harman Kardon sound system, you're gonna get the clearest sound out there. On top of that, you're gonna notice this leather wrapped steering wheel. That is absolutely be beautiful and all hand stitched, so you know that there's quality going into this vehicle. On top of that, this vehicle also has air conditioned seats, heated seats. Again, the 360 surround cam, so you can see everything right there for you. On top of that, you're also going to have a heated steering wheel. Music is absolutely amazing. And on top of that, this has parallel and perpendicular park assist for you. All you have to do is pull right up to the vehicle that's right in front of you of the stall that you're going to pull into. Push the parallel and perpendicular or the parallel park assist. Let go of the brake and control the gas. And it does the work for you. Now, folks, please buckle up your seatbelt. Let's take this for a ride. I think that's where you're going to be impressed with it the most.